Okay, I'm trying to angle this where there's not a big bright light in the way. Um, so, something funny about dogs. Sarah has been working on day one, she was on a level two. Day two, we went out to a level three. I don't know if you can see that, what level she's on today. That is a level one. She's on level one today. She's having a kind of sensitive day. Now, that could be a couple different things. I did shave a spot on her neck the first day she was here when we first started pairing this. Um, and uh, so it could be that I just have it better into that spot where there's better contact today. Could be a number of things. She could just be a little bit more sensitive today. However, she's still happy and excited about her food. Come here, good girl. So there she is. Um, so we are running through some drills. So every time I give a command, I'm going to press the uh, continuous button on the e-collar. So um, she's at a level one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, Sarah, down. Good girl, good girl. So she gets food. So we're pairing it with a uh, e-collar stem. It's just a low level, just to give her some input on what we're doing. Notification popping up here. All right, there we go. Uh, just a uh, low level, just to give her some input on what it is that I'm asking her to do. This is gonna really help transfer over when you have her in the car and you're driving around and you're telling her to lay down. So Sarah, down. Good girl. Ah, down. Good girl. So every time I say the command, she's getting a nick with the uh, with the button here. So I'm hitting the red button, which is the continuous, but I'm just, I call it doorbelling it because you hit it about as long as you would ring a doorbell. You're not gonna ring and hold down on it. You're just gonna touch and let off. So that's what I'm doing when I give the command. Now, when I tell the dog to come, and we've run through this a couple times, and she's following me, I hold it down until the dog gets to me. So I'm gonna say, Sarah, come. Good girl. And as soon as I said good girl, I let off the stem. Very good, good girl. So she makes the annoying little buzz on her neck go away by getting to me as quickly as possible. Sarah, come. Sarah, come. Good girl. Very good, good girl. We're excited about food and it's getting spilled on the floor. Sarah, sit. Good girl, good girl. We've been having exciting playtime, but she's doing really good. She's very focused on me. Sarah, down. Good girl, play down, good girl. I don't know if you can see that on the video or not, but there's little bits everywhere. And uh, she's definitely very clean. She's making sure that she's getting all the little bits and pieces. So, ready? Sarah, sit. Good girl. Stay. Now, when I release her from the stay, I don't know if I'm in frame or not. When I release her from the stay, I'm not going to press any buttons on the e-collar. Um, for, I just, I don't, when I release dogs, when I let them go, um, I want kind of a burst, so I'm not adding any stem with that unless I'm so far away that I don't think that the dog will hear me. So I'm just gonna say, okay, good girl, good girl. So these are all commands that she basically knows, um, that she's already been trained on. What we're doing right now is we're adding the e-collar. Um, the reason that we're adding the e-collar is um, for those of you that are watching this that don't know Sarah, Sarah uh, is dog reactive. So when she and her owner are driving around in the car together, um, sometimes she sees other dogs and she goes crazy and starts barking. So what we do is we tell her, lay down. And so she lays down in the back of the car. Well, um, it's not very safe to have to reach back and point and pull on the collar and jerk her down. So we're using the e-collar on a very low level stem uh, to, and now she's laying down, to get her to lay down um, by giving that physical input that she's used to, because she's used to reaching back and pulling down on the collar and telling her to lay down. So um, that being said, I'm gonna run through it a couple more times. Come here, Sarah, come, good. Sarah, sit. Hey, there we go, good, good girl, good girl. 
So I'm using lots of food. She's just working for a bowl of kibble that I've got back here. Um, and uh, this is pairing with the e-collar. She's very food motivated. You can see she's following my hand everywhere it goes. So um, this is teaching a good association with the uh, e-collar. Now, something else you'll notice. Creeper is outside. I'm sure you guys can hear him barking on uh, the recording here. So uh, with her being dog reactive, I thought this would be a good um, little low level of distraction for you. So I left him outside. And for some reason, when I leave him out and it's dark out, he runs around, he barks his head off like an idiot. It's something that he does. I haven't trained him to stop doing it. It doesn't really bother me, so I haven't put the effort in. That's what happens when you're a dog trainer and your personal dog has a little quirk. Um, so um, he's out there barking right now, and I'm using it to my advantage. I've got a dog here that's typically dog reactive. Um, there's a barking dog outside, and uh, she's working, and she's ignoring him and doing her uh, remote collar work. Hey, Sarah. hunting for food on the floor so that was a little bit slow but that's where Sarah's at Sarah's been here for three days now um, she's been a little bit all over the place with the e-collar um, well I say all over the place she's gone from a two to a three and then back down to a one so um, that's uh, day three for Sarah she's kind of staying within the range I would be a little bit more concerned if we were going from a two to a six to a three to a nine I might be a little bit more concerned. Um, I think she's a little bit on the sensitive side as far as dogs go. Um, and I think that uh, with the uh, hair, I don't think I'm getting very good contact um, every single time. So I may try putting a short coat comfort pad on her since she's got that shaved spot and just making sure that I've got the e-collar centered. So we'll experiment with that over the next couple days. Right now she's doing really good. Um, we've done a little bit of walking, um, but not a whole lot around the neighborhood because it rained yesterday. Um, it's wet and gross and cold and windy out today, so we haven't done a whole lot of outside stuff. It's nasty out. Um, I've been out in the garage, so you see me in my uh, insulated coveralls and everything. So anyways, hope everybody has a good night.